Hi guys, Pete Mazaris, the home inspector mentor here to talk to you about the time when I was starting out and I wasn't getting any business. So uh, probably two, three years into the business, I was just feeling like I wasn't getting enough um you know, inspections I had, you know, fully expected when I got trained and certified and so forth and hung my shingle out, so to speak, that, uh, you know, the business would show up. Didn't realize that it would be a challenge to grow the business. And so probably, I don't know, even three or four years into it, I was just like, oh, you know, maybe I should be thinking about doing something else. Now, at that time, you know, I was still doing it part-time. And so, actually, I decided to go back to uh, get my master's in engineering. And I went and did a couple classes to uh, make myself feel better, I guess, about myself. And then I had a decision to make. Did I want to spend that type of money to invest in myself to stay in a career that I probably really wasn't that excited about. Yes, it was interesting, but it wasn't it wasn't secure enough for me. It wasn't a uh, job that uh, gave me enough financial security and freedom that I really, really wanted and was the reason why I started the home inspection business. And so, you know, I started doubting myself about you know, growing the home inspection business. Never really thought it would be more than a, uh, you know, part-time concern because the inspections were just trickling in and I was, you know, wanting to move on and get something going for myself. And I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about taking more than just a couple uh, classes and uh, getting my full master's degree and, you know, and, and continuing to pursue my um, corporate job. But you know what happened? I kept getting a couple calls here and there from uh, the same realtors. And of course, it was only just, you know, two or three or four realtors who uh, were referring me consistently by then, but they kept referring me. And I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, I have a decision to make. What to do with my spare time? Do I want to continue to pay out of my pocket for a education that is going to require X amount of hours, uh, two, three times a week in the evenings, of course, because I'm working full time and I have no guarantee that that degree is going to actually give me something better than what I was already receiving and being employed in industry for, or did I want to take that extra time that I was spending doing something productive, you know, like going back to college, and um, should I maybe continue and stick with the home inspection business and see where that goes, because after all, you know, um, spending that time after work a couple times a week, maybe for three hours, you know, I was getting paid 100 to 150 bucks an hour versus me having to pay that amount of money out of my pocket into something that maybe was not going to return anything uh, substantive for me or secure for me and I had to spend the time anyway so why not spend that time continuing to do something that you know might lead to eventual financial freedom and that might lead to um, you know a, a more rewarding career than working for the corporations and not knowing when I may have to pick up and go find another job um, because all those jobs go bad eventually. And so those one or two realtors, I should probably look them up and thank them for keeping me 
focused on my original plan, the original plan to be self-employed and be a home inspector. And boy, I'm glad I did because that time frame, you know, come to think of it was probably right around the, uh, you know, the, the 2008, 2009 market crash, I would imagine. And so, you know, I guess I didn't realize it wasn't just me not getting business and during that time period. It was probably a lot of other home inspectors, kind of like the market we're in right now. Um, so I stuck with it, as you know, and it kept, it kept growing from there. And as the economy started to come back from a housing standpoint, I was still at it, still doing home inspections, still tweaking my process, still finding the best way to do an inspection, still finding the best way to report it and to market it. And it paid off because when the housing market came back in, I'd say probably 2011, uh, I was getting busier and busier and busier. And that's what has been remarkable to me, the fact that I guess I almost quit being a home inspector after a few years of doing it because I just wasn't getting enough business. But fortunately, those couple realtors who kept feeding me business for weekend jobs and evening jobs and, um, you know, made me think that, well, if they like me, if they can continue to refer me to their clients, then other realtors can too. So I must be doing something right. Eventually I'll figure out how to get more work and I did. I decided to stick with it and continue to learn because remember, I didn't have any construction background when I started. And, you know, I kept studying. I kept, uh, you know, going to conferences and learning and going to uh, the realtor offices and, you know, doing it the hard way. And, um, you know, fortunately, it, uh, it, it obviously paid off, but it took a while for me. Hopefully for you guys, you can short circuit it and uh, stay focused on, you know, the, the big picture. You know, the big picture is, is that you're looking for a, a sustaining career that no one can take away from you, okay? Like a, you know, a job can be taken away from you in a minute. And trust me, it's happened to me three times in my career. But a home inspection business that you start and you operate and you stick with it, and you focus on being the best you can, learning everything you can, you know, learning from your mistakes because you're going to make those mistakes just like I did, okay? It's part of the process. Then, and you stay, you know, uh, committed to it and you persist through the slow times like now, uh, it's going to pay off. You know, don't give up. Don't uh, don't feel like, uh, you know, you're not cut out for this business because everybody is cut out for this business as long as they're committed to excellence and what they do. And so um, thought I'd share that uh, little personal story with you guys. Hope all is well.